Good day everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to obtain the IV characteristic of germanium diode using P-SPICE AD Lite. Open the Cadence or CAT software. Then choose the P-SPICE AD Lite. Here, I enlarge the window. Then, click on File, followed by New. Select the text file option. This is because I'll be using the neat list instead of drawing the circuit schematic. The first line is always reserved for the comment. We can use it to describe the contents of the file. In this example, I use the germanium diode IV characteristic. This is the circuit. Write a number on each line to guide us in creating the neat list. As seen in this diagram, voltage source V in is between line 0 and 1. Therefore, we write the neat list for VIN in this way. Its positive terminal is connected to line 1, while the negative terminal is at line 0, which is the ground. I set its DC value 6 volt. After that, write the neat list for resistor, R1. Its pins are connected to line I and 2. Hence, it is written as R1, followed by 1 and 2. Then, write the value of its resistance, 10K, which refers to kilo ohm. For a diode, it is scripted in this sequence, the anode pin is wrote first, followed by the cathode pin. Thus, the neat list of germanium diode is D1, which refers to its part name, followed by 2 and 0, then write its part number D1N34. However, the germanium diode is not available in the PSPICE library. Therefore, to describe a diode, we use certain parameters, which could be obtained from reference book. The parameters are after finding the necessary values, use dot model D1N34, then write D followed by a bracket. The D is the symbol to represent the part in the neat list. Inside the bracket, enter the required parameters, especially the band gap for germanium, which is 0.67. Once we have written all the parameters, close the bracket. Then, write down the other commands. Dot LIB to retrieve the library database for the rest of components in the neat list. Dot EC with the starting value of 0 volt and the end value of 6 volts. The step value is set to 0 0.1. Meanwhile, dot probe and dot plot are used in order to trace and plot any signals that are required. Then, we end the text by writing down dot end. After that, save the file. Click file followed by save. Remember to save it as type.cir. Here I put the name as germanium diode iv.cir. To run the simulation, we press the green arrow button. But here, it can be seen that the button is not active. Thus, we would not able to simulate the file. To activate the button, close the neat list file before reopen it. Then, we reopen the neat list text by clicking file. Select open simulation. After that choose circuit files.cir. This is because we use the neat list file to simulate the circuit. Now, the run button has turned green, which indicates that it is active. Press this button to start the simulation. The germanium diode IV.DAT window is pop-up. It contains an empty plot. To obtain a graph of IV characteristic of the germanium diode, click on Trace. A new window is pop-up. It contains all the traceable signals for us to choose. These signals correspond to the y-axis variable. Choose the current across the diode, ID, which is the signal we are interested in. The ID1 appears in the trace expression, right at the bottom. Click OK. A plot of current, ID against voltage, emerges. However, this is not the correct IV plot, because the horizontal axis is the input voltage, V in, whereas for IV characteristic curve, it is a plot of current flows through a diode, ID, versus the voltage drop across it. To change the x-axis variable, click on any part of the horizontal axis. An axis setting window is pop-up. At the x-axis window, click on axis variable. A new window is pop-up in which it contains all the traceable signals for us to choose as an x variable. Sometimes you may want to untick the unwanted signals if they are too many. In this example, only the voltages button is tick. 
Thus, only voltage signals are available. Based on the circuit diagram, the voltage drop across the diode is V2. Click on this and it shows in the trace expression. Next, click OK. After the x-axis variable window is closed, click OK on the axis setting window. Now, a graph of IV curve for germanium is obtained. The barrier potential of the diode is about 0.33 volts, which is close to the theoretical value. We can beautify the graph. First, add labels on both the horizontal and vertical axes. To create the label, click on any part of the horizontal axis to open the axis setting window. When the window appears, on the x-axis sub-window, tick the box use this title. Next, write VD in the axis title part. On the y-axis sub-window, fill in the axis title box by typing an ID. Then, click OK. Now, both axes have been labeled with the title VD and ID accordingly. On another matter, you may want to change the color or type of line. Normally, I prefer the thicker line to make it more visible. Hence, right-click on the line. Several menus appear for you to choose from. To change the line, click on the Trace property. The Trace Properties window is pop-up. There are four properties that can be changed including the line pattern. In my case, I want to make the line thicker. So I click on the width in order to change it to my preference. Once it is done, click OK. Here, it can be seen that the IV characteristic curve is more visible than before. For reporting purposes, the waveform can be copied. Simply click on Window at the menu bar. Next, select Copy to Clipboard. On the pop-up window, choose any option that is required. Here, I select the plot background to be transparent and change white to black to inverse the color setting. The latter option is so that the background color is white instead of black, which is more preferable in the report. After setting up the necessary option, click OK. Now, the waveform can be inserted in the Microsoft Word or any app. In this example, I paste it on Paint. Or, you can also save the results in data form, like an Excel file. To do that, click on File, Export. There are four options of type of file to choose from. Select the comma separated file. On the pop-up window, write the output file name, for example ID. Then, click OK. The Excel file is created in the same folder of the simulated file. What are the data that have been stored in the Excel file? Let's open the file. There are three types of data save here, namely the input voltage, V in, the current ID, and the voltage VD. You can use these data for further analysis. Okay, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for viewing it.